Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It is Motivational Monday. It is Motivational Monday. And I'm here, Janice Butler, founder of Woman of Character Incorporated, here to motivate you. Good evening, everybody. Come on in, come on in, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Motivational Monday. Um, I love coming on on Mondays just to motivate you. And today we are going to be talking about celebrating, celebrate the woman that you are. Celebrate the woman that you are. All right. Come on in, everybody, and as you guys are coming in, if you would, do me a big, big favor and share the video uh, for somebody that may come across your timeline with a family member or a friend who might need some encouragement today. Um, I love you guys. Thank you, Demo Sheen, for watching, for joining. Uh, come on in, everybody. It is Motivational Monday, and we are here every Monday at uh, 5 o'clock. We come on just to give you some motivation. And today, again, as I said earlier, we are going to be talking about celebrate the woman that you are. And today is a special, special, special day for me. Um, today is my daughter's 36th birthday. And so she is actually the motivation for this message today uh, because I have been celebrating her all day long and I want you to also join in and help me to celebrate my daughter, uh, Takia Askew, on her 36th birthday. Uh, again, she's the motivation for the message today uh, because I think it is so fitting that we as women uh, begin to celebrate our wins, celebrate who we are, no matter where you've been, no matter what you've been through, um, it's a time to celebrate. Um, come on in, everybody. I'm gonna give people just a few more seconds just to get on. Uh, again, today's Motivational Monday, and I'm here to motivate you. Uh, my daughter's birthday is today, and that is the motivation behind the message today. And so I uh, just wanted to give you a few uh, tips, things to think about, things to consider. Um, why it's important that we celebrate our wins, celebrate ourselves, celebrate your accomplishments, celebrate who you are and who you are becoming even celebrate where you have been celebrate where you've been uh, when we get to a point where we can learn how to appreciate uh, where we've been and where you may even be right now even though it may not look like uh, where you want to go or the things that you have in mind for yourself where um, the dreams and the aspirations that you have, know that you still have time to get there. And all of this is just part of your journey. So again, um, I just want to start off by saying that when I look back at where I was when I birthed my child, um, I have a son who is 40, and um, four years later, later, I birthed a beautiful baby girl. My handsome son was a, was the proud big brother um, of, of, of this beautiful baby. And one of the things that I appreciate is the woman that she is, the woman that she has become. She's been through some things. Um, still kind of going through some things, but yet the spirit inside of her is always so grateful and so appreciative. And she just, she sucks it up and she keeps moving forward. Does she get discouraged sometimes? Yes. Did I get some discouraged? Yes. Will you get discouraged? Yes. 
But the key is to keep moving, to keep going, um, and to celebrate your wins. Learn to celebrate your wins. Celebrate your steps. Uh, one of the things that um, she keeps mentioning or saying these last few days, which really, you know, I'm from the old school, so I'm, I'm loving some of these phrases that people use. And she said, this is chapter 36 for her. And that made me stop and think, we are actually writing our story. This is chapter 36 of her journey. Chapter 36. What chapter are you on? What chapter in life are you on? Put it in the comments. What chapter of life are you on? And when you begin to look at the chapters that you've already written and begin to think about where you've been, the things that you've experienced, the things that um, they may have been hurtful, they may have been painful, um, but even the joys, the wins that you've had, the things that you have overcome, where are you right now? Can you celebrate those moments that may have caused some pain? Can you celebrate the moments that may have uh, been disappointing for you? Can you celebrate the where the place that you are right now? Now, it's chapter 36 for her. I'm in my chapter 58, right? What chapter are you in? And if you are able to write a chapter, then you are winning. Let me say that again. If you are able to write your chapter, you are winning. That's the motivation today, knowing that you are winning. You're still able to write your chapter. And if your chapters, your past chapters, or even your present chapter that you are writing isn't what you wanted it, want it to be, or isn't what you thought it would be, you still have the ability to write your remaining chapters, the chapters of your life. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your talents? What are the gifts that's laying on the inside of you? Regina says she's in chapter 59 and blessed. Yes, what chapter are you in? And if your chapters before now haven't been up to par, then take your pencil, take your pen, use your imagination and write the chapter as though you want it to be. You guys know what I always say. When you say what you see, you will see what you say. You have the ability and the wherewithal and, and the, the tools inside of you to write your chapter. What are your dreams? What are your goals? Write them down. Write them down. And I promise you, your mindset, you will change the way you will begin to think when you um, make those affirmations on a regular basis, on a daily basis, when you get up and your day may not be what you want it to be. It may not be um, all that you wanted it to be in that very moment, but you have the rest of the day to change the outlook, change how you see your day, change how your chapter is going to uh, be written. You can take it just like you are the author. And, and now let me, let me preface this because first God is the author. 
And he's already got a plan for you. He's already got your destiny panned out. You just have to be the one that comes in line with what he has in store for you. And you might say, well, how do I do that? How do I line up? How do I figure out what the plan is? You begin to pray. You ask Holy Spirit to give you revelation, to give you understanding, to give you wisdom. That's been my prayer for my daughter. And that's something that I wrote on her uh, timeline today, is that as she writes, or as she enters in, into chapter 36, that she'll get more revelation, that she will uh, get some understanding, that she'll get direction, that she'll get wisdom, that her esteem will be built up, that her love for herself and knowing her own self-worth will begin to flourish, that as she goes, because she's a mother, because she's a wife, because she's a friend, as she develops even more in those roles, as you develop even more in the roles that you are currently in, whether that's a friend, whether that's a partner, whether that's a mate, whether that's a caregiver, as you develop in those roles, you will begin to continue to write out, seek out the plan that God has for you and ultimately begin to celebrate the woman that you are. Celebrate your wins, celebrate your achievements, celebrate that process that you're on, celebrate the path that you're on right now. We want you to win. We want you to achieve and to get to the place that God has specifically for you. So today, I just want to motivate you to be the woman that you are. Celebrate your achievements. Celebrate your gifts and your talents. Celebrate who you are. Love the person and the woman that is looking in the mirror. Celebrate that woman who's looking back at you. Celebrate the woman that you are. And you might say, but you don't know what I've been through. You don't know um, the things that I've experienced. Well, let me tell you, those things, the experiences, whether they were good or bad, have made you the woman that you are today. Celebrate her. Celebrate this and love the skin that you're in. I know that's cliche. But when you begin to love who you are, then you'll be able to celebrate where you are and where you're going. Let me just tell you, there was a time in my life and I didn't even realize it, but there was a time in my life that I didn't like the woman that was looking back at me in the mirror. There was a time that I, I, know, I knew that I was a pretty girl, but I didn't really believe and see the beauty of the girl that was looking back at me. I always judged well, why do I have, you know, this peanut head? They used to call me peanut, peanut head. Why did I have the shape that I have? You know, there was, I was always comparing myself with somebody else who I thought was prettier than me, who, who was more talented than I was, that had more than I did. I always compared myself with that model. I always wanted to be somebody else. I wanted to look like somebody else. I wanted to be somebody else. And sometimes I still even have a desire 
and say, you know, I wish I had what somebody else had. But I began to realize that God created me in his image. When I got in the word and really realized that the word says that he created me in his image, I began to say, wow, how, how selfish of me to think that I'm not beautiful. How selfish of me to dishonor God and how he fashioned me and how he created me. I began to say to myself that if he created me in his image and everything that he created was good, how dare me to belittle who he created me to be and not value my own worth not see what he put inside of me, how uniquely and fearfully and wonderfully he made me. I have had women to ask me when I would share my testimony. Women would always say, but you're so beautiful. You're so pretty. And I used to be like, hmm, yeah, okay. And then one day, this woman, and this was just a few years ago, a woman asked me, she said, why do you deal with such low self-esteem? And I was like, wow. The revelation came to me that God created Janice to be Janice. Shape, skin tone, features, just the way they are. And I had to learn to embrace Janice. And I want you to embrace who you are. It took me almost 50 some years to realize that I am who I am and to celebrate my wins, to celebrate my intellect, to celebrate my beauty, to celebrate my talents, to celebrate my gifts, and to not compare myself with somebody else. Because there's enough room for us to celebrate one another. There's enough uh, time for us to celebrate who we are. So sis, celebrate the woman that you are. Not comparing yourself with somebody else. Because again, as you celebrate yourself, Regina said God's creation, yes, absolutely. We are each God's creation. And how dare us to compare and, and belittle what God created. And so I want to challenge you to celebrate your wins, celebrate who God created you to be. And as we go through our chapters, as we write our chapters, as we begin to dream about where we want to go and where we're going. Celebrate every win. Celebrate as we turn the page. Celebrate what you got through. Celebrate each day because each day is a day to celebrate because the word tells us that the tomorrow is not promised. And something that I say every day when I get up, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. If you laid down last night and you got up this morning, it is a day to celebrate. Celebrate the fact that you can breathe. Celebrate the fact that you can talk, you can walk, that you are alive. 
celebrate, celebrate, celebrate the woman that you are. Celebrate knowing that you have another opportunity to get it right, another opportunity to take another step. Celebrate the fact that you have another day, another chance to become greater, to become better, to be empowered, to do, to have that business, to live that dream, to laugh, to experience life. Celebrate the woman that you are. So today, that's all I just want to do is motivate you to celebrate the woman that you are. Woman of character, we are here to empower you, to motivate you, to build you up, to be your cheerleader, to help you to, let, to live, to hope, to dream after being broken. After having pain, we all have pain. You may not have experienced what I've experienced with domestic violence or breast cancer or almost dying at the age of 21, but you've experienced something. And whatever chapter of life you are in, I want you to celebrate. Celebrate the woman that you are right now Celebrate the woman that you are becoming. Celebrate the woman that you will be. So ladies, I pray that this has been a, a moment of motivation, a time where you can reflect on where you've been, where you are right now, and where you want to go. Put your pen to the paper. Speak it out loud and watch what I say. You will be and become the woman that you say you are, the woman that you see yourself to be. So remember, continue saying what you see and you will see what you say. Celebrate the woman that you are right now and the woman that you are becoming. I can't say it enough because somebody needs to know that they are good enough. You are worth it. You are valuable. It doesn't matter what you've been through. You can change the direction of your life when you see what you say and then say what you see. You will see it. You will see it. I am a living witness. After having been held hostage twice in a three-week period, seeing my estranged husband killed right in front of me, almost dying at the age of 21 from a grapefruit-sized bowel tumor, having hemorrhaged, um, had six blood transfusions in less than 24 hours, being diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 39. And here I am in chapter 58, alive, still smiling, healthy, with wisdom, see, able to see my children, my son who is 40, my daughter who today is celebrating chapter 36, who is now a mother of her own, three children, a wife, a beautiful wife. Being able to see that, to see my grandbabies, it's a good day. And you too have something to celebrate. Celebrate the woman that you are. And if you don't know how, I want to encourage you, contact me, connect with us, connect with me, DM me, send me a message. Um, you can contact us at Woman of Character 
P.O. Box 18224, Kansas City, Missouri, 64133. Uh, on social media, you can contact us on any platform. We're on Instagram at W-M-C-H-A-R-A-C-T-E-R. That's short for Woman of Character. On Facebook, go and like our page, Woman of Character, Inc., uh, on YouTube, Janice E. Butler. Connect with us in any way. And if you would do me one more favor, share these messages and put in the comments what it is that you want Woman of Character to talk about. What questions do you have for us? What content um, do you want to hear talk about? What do you want us to address? Because we are here for you to motivate you. We come on every Monday at five o'clock to motivate you. We have, we put out content throughout the week to empower you, to encourage you, to celebrate your wins, to encourage you and motivate you on the path that you're on and to encourage you to stay on the journey. Keep moving forward. We love you and we want to see you win. So again, I just wanted to come on and celebrate the woman that you are to motivate you to keep moving, to stay on the path. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't stop because you've got somewhere to go. Somebody needs what you have. Somebody needs to hear what you have to say. Somebody needs to, to accept what you have to give them. We all have something to give, something to share, and somebody needs it. So I love you guys. And remember, I am celebrating the woman that you are. Celebrate you. Bye.